All right, hello Washington Eagles. It is Tuesday, April 13th, and we are still practicing our adding. <clears throat> Again, it's just important that you maintain um, your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and probably some division here at the very end. <clears throat> Pardon me. But really, that's my focus for the next few weeks is just just addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, okay? Because that's, like I said, it's the foundation of mathematics. So um, we're going to be regrouping tens, and that's all we're going to do. But first, we're going to review what we did yesterday. Um, we just did some simple addition problems, um, like without regrouping. So 3 plus 3. Oh, you can't see that. Sorry. So 3 plus 3, 3, 4. Oh, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm rushing here. And then one plus nothing is one. And so we didn't regroup with that one. But here's our regrouping ones. Okay, remember we have to add our ones place first. So seven plus three, so seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one plus one plus one is three. One, two, three. So it's thirty. <clears throat> and again, if you want to put little dots on there. Or use your fingers. I don't really care. You can do what you need to do. So 8 plus 4 is 12. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to put our 1 up there and our 2 in our 1's place. And then now we're going to add our 10's place. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Or 2 plus 2 is 4. It's 42. So there's our regrouping the 1's place. But now we're going to be regrouping the 10's. Okay? So there's a couple ways we can think about this. Um, I'm going to try and scoot this over a little bit more so you can see my big old head here. Okay, <clears throat> so um, so we're going to say, remember, we got to add our tens place first. So 2 plus 2 is 4. And 8 plus 6. So 8 plus 6, um, obviously... That's more than 10, and so we got to figure out, okay, where are we going to put these numbers? So um, let's just figure out what our answer is first. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 8 plus 6 is 14. So you're just going to write 14 over here, okay? Now, um, sometimes it might be kind of hard to think about that, just like putting the 1, 4 over there. But one thing you can do if you need to, then you can always put a zero here in the hundreds place. Eight, this is still all the same. If you put a zero there or no zero, it doesn't matter, okay? But if it helps remind you or to keep track of your numbers, then do it, okay? So we already know that 2 plus 2 is 4. And we already know that 8 plus 6 is 14. Well, if you need to put that number over here and put your 4 there in the tens place, then do that. You're going to get the same answer, okay? Because you know that 1 plus 0 plus 0 is going to be 1, okay? Get the same answer, all right? And if that helps you keep track of it, then do it, okay? So I have another one down here that we can practice. So 1 plus 8. 6 plus 5. Start with the big number. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. So our answer is um, 119. And we can do the same thing over here. So I just want you to think, you know what? I can put a 0 over here if I really want to. Okay? We can't put 1 in the 1s. We can't put 1 over here. Okay? It can go all the way over here. Okay? We just can't put any zeros over here pass the ones place. So we know that 8 plus 1 is 9 and we know that 6 plus 5 is 11. So we're going to put our 1 up here and our 1 down here. Here's our 11. 11 right here. And now we can say 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. Okay? If that's what you need to do, then do it. Let's practice a few more. Um, because I may just try to, um, oh, we'll regroup ones and tens tomorrow, but I don't know. Maybe I'll throw in a bonus regrouping ones and tens. We'll see. I don't know. Just depends. 
All right, so let's do 88 plus 70. And let's do 76 plus 87. Forty two plus ninety seven and let's do eighty four plus seventy five. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's get to it. <clears throat> let's always add your ones place first. <coughs> eight plus zero is eight. 8 plus 7, well, if you know 8 plus 8 is 16, then just take 1 away from 16, because that's your 7, so that would be 15. You can check if you want to, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so here's our 15, so 88 plus 70 is 15, and again, if you want to add a 0 there to carry your 1 over to the hunter's place, then do it. We're going to get the same answer, 158. Let's do uh, 6 plus 7, add that one's place first, 6 plus 7. If you know 6 plus 6 is 12, add 1, so 13. We're going to put our 1 in the 10's place and our 3 in the 1's place, because the 3 is only worth 3 1's. <clears throat> We're carrying our 10 over here, so... Oh, well, what's 8 plus 8? 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 8, so 8 plus 8 is 16. If you want to get a calculator to check your answers, then go for it. If you want to check by subtracting, practice that on a calculator. Okay, go for it. Um, 84 plus 75, okay? Uh, 4 plus 5 is 9, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or you can say 5 plus 5 is 10, but we need to get to 4, so minus 1, so 10 minus 1 is 4. I mean, 10 minus 1 is 9. Got ahead of myself there. Um, 8 plus 7, well, we already did 8 plus 7. Listen, if you can go back and see an answer to help you, go back and see an answer. All right, we already know that 8 plus 5, or 8 plus 7 is 15. So, we might as well just do 8 plus 7 is 15. And then 42 plus 97, well, our answer is 159. And 42 plus 97, so 7, 8, 9. Oh, no, 7, 8, 9. Is it nice? And then um, 4 plus 9 is 13. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. Or you can say 9, get to 10. So take 1 away from 4 to make that 10. That turns a 3, so 10 plus 3 is 13. So 13, 139 is your answer. So some people like to kind of add up like that. My husband likes to add that way. Um, I'm not usually like that. I don't usually add up like that. But if you do, then do it. I usually like to double numbers and either add or subtract 1. So that's how I usually like to do things. So 42 plus 97 is 139. If you want to check your answers using a calculator, then go for it. Um, if you want to sub, uh, check by subtraction, challenge yourself, uh, check by subtracting. Okay? So. All right. So I want you all to work on um, 97 plus... 21 and 78 plus mm, 60 plus 52 85 plus 90 and 74 plus 45 alright there are your questions um, you can write them down, go show them to your mom or dad, or you can send me your answers in the email. Just kind of tell me probably what day it is and like just say it's Tuesday, April 13th and that will be good enough, okay? Or if you just want to go show your dad, your mom or your dad or your brother or sister 
or check on a calculator, then do it. Okay. All right. Until next time. Bye.